Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics in the shed. I've been blowing off the water today, so I'm in here sorting out my tackle kits, plastics, jig heads, all that sort of thing. And I thought what I would do today is run you through five hacks for fishing the incredible Z-Man 10 times tough Elastec plastics. So you may be aware of some of the benefits of Z-Man's proprietary Elastec material. So Z-Man Elastic Plastics are extremely soft and flexible, 10 times tough, so extremely durable, and they're naturally buoyant. So all of those benefits allow us to do different tricky things with our rigging that may be impossible to do with other plastics. So these plastics, remember, store them in their original packet so they don't react with other plastics and they stay nice and straight and ready to go. And you'll catch a lot of fish on a single plastic with that Z-Man Elastec. So our five hacks. First cab off the rank is our weedless headlocks. So weedless headlocks, basically the headlocks is not a weedless jig head, it's a standard jig head. And we know that TT has a great range of weedless jig heads, including chin locks and snake locks and snake eyes and those sorts of things. But if you do find yourself stuck and you don't have a weedless jig head and you want to fish the snags, you can actually do a tricky thing with your TT headlocks jig head or revlocks or demons, anything that has that headlock keeper so that you can fish in, in in that structure, that heavy cover. So basically, when we first did the headlocks, a mate of mine, Richard and I were up fishing Hinchinbrook Island and we were right up one of the creeks getting out of the wind and we saw a lot of pikey brim and jacks and things lurking deep in the, the mangroves and they wanted to eat little plastics. So we had two and a half inch grubs with us, always carry a two and a half inch grubs, but we didn't have a weedless jig head small enough to fit it because this was pre snake locks finesse time as well. So basically we took a TT headlocks jig head and we used the gap in there, our headlock keeper, we used that gap to act like a chid lock. So basically like when rigging weedless, we just captured the chin of the plastic on our head, we slid that chin right up into that gap and you can see there we've got the plastic sitting basically with its chin in that gap. All you do then is roll the plastic over and pin it with the hook there and pull that on plastic onto there. So now you can see we've got that curl tail riding and it's protecting the hook from fouling. So we can flick that in and work that in that heavy structure much more effectively. Being super soft and flexible, when the fish grabs it, it clears the hook and away you go. So being a, a bit of a tricky weedless rigging setup. Hookup rate will decrease slightly, but what it does is it allows you to get that plastic right into the sticks, right into that structure without continually snagging up. So you can get that bite from that jack or brim or whatever's deep in the structure, hook that fish and get it out of there. So that is a tricky way to weedless rig using a standard headlocks jig head. So that headlock keeper allows you to capture the chin so that you can set up that weedless rig. So you can do that with virtually any Z-Man plastic, finding the right size jig head to fit it, lock that chin in there and set it up weedless so you can get in those snags, get the fish out. Okay, our second hack is rigging stingers. So you can rig, rig stingers, either commercially made stingers or rig up your own stingers with a, a bit of mono or braid with a, a hook on there to add hook points to your plastic. The trick when you're rigging with a traditional soft plastic and you rig stingers through the plastic, if a fish does grab that stinger, it can often tear the plastic to pieces. So they can be a bit of a one hit wonder where a fish will grab the stinger, rip the plastic and not even hook up. So the great thing about the durability of our Elastec and that super soft and flexible material is that we can virtually pin stingers through plastics anywhere, even with the tiniest bit of material and it's going to lock in there solid. So that allows you to, you know, put stingers on the underside, put stingers above. You can attach stingers wherever you like on the plastic, even through a tiny bit of plastic, and it's not just going to get annihilated when a fish bites. So here's a slide on stinger here. I'll slide it on. I'll hook it in the back there. And basically, I've given myself another 
two hook points down towards the tail of that plastic with that double stinger there. But if a fish grabs that, it can thrash around everywhere and it's not going to tear that plastic to pieces. So you can keep on fishing that plastic and catch more fish on a single soft plastic. So I've even run stingers on something like that there. So that's a 2.5 inch TRD Craws fished on a Nedlock, so Ned Rig setup. And with these buoyant claws, I actually ran some mono with a needle through the plastic, through the claws, and I had tiny little singles in each claw, I had a single. So those little claws are waving around with a little single hook in there to pin any pickers that come and pick those claws. And again, you know, fish can grab it, shake it around and all that sort of thing without just destroying your plastic after one bite or one fish. So yeah, lots of options there. Check out your commercially made stingers and also you can make up your own stingers if you are wanting to create additional hook points on that soft plastic. Our third hack is actually a hack, and that is hacking plastics with a pair of scissors. So hopefully not hacking, but trimming them neatly. So again, a layers tech material is durable, it's strong. So what that does is it allows us to trim plastics down while they still maintain strength. Even if we're only leaving small layers of plastic, we've still got good strength in that plastic. So it could be as something as simple as shortening a plastic. So some guys will trim a plastic in length if they're wanting to create a more finesse presentation. So you can trim the length of a plastic will not affect the integrity of the plastic at all. What you can also do is thin plastics down. So if you've got a plastic that's bulky and you want to trim it down, thin the plastic down, you can thin that plastic down as well. So we can shorten its length, we can trim it down. We can also change that plastic around a little bit. So we could trim these claws and make them smaller on the TRD claws, or we could take the claws off completely. Pretty much the sky's the limit. We could take a, a Z-Man goat, cut it down the middle, turn it into two paddle tails. All sorts of different things we can do, but that's something that anglers have been doing for years and years and years, is taking a pair of scissors and trimming that plastic to do what they want it to do or look like what they want it to look like. And the great thing with the Z-Man is that Elastec is extremely durable. So even if we are trimming away at the plastic and making it thinner, shorter, all that sort of thing, we still have a good, strong, solid plastic that we can lock onto a jig head or weedless rig. Okay, hack number four is rigging our Z-Man 10 times tough plastic on a single hook or a treble. So there's a stack of jig heads in the range from TT. There's also a ton of weedless options. Uh, what some people do though, if they're looking for surface fishing a plastic and they're not fishing it in cover. So say I'm fishing a plastic across the top for tailor or bass or something like that. I can actually run a single hook in my plastic so that the hook comes out of the bottom, giving me hook exposure under the plastic and the weight of the jig, the weight of the hook helps to keel the plastic so that it runs upright. So basically I just thread the plastic as if I'm threading it onto a jig hook. However, I'm threading it on to a standard J hook and out the belly in the center and then pull that up into place. So there we have our plastic rigged with a hook out the bottom, a J hook out the bottom for a tailor or for bass and those sorts of things. So basically the important thing when you're trying to rig that style of rig is that your hook needs to be a straight eye hook. You don't want an offset eye, otherwise it can run funny. And also your hook needs to not be offset. So you want a straight shank and a straight eye, just a dead set straight J hook and you can run that guy in there. So without a headlock keeper on there, that will slide on the hook. So we can alleviate that problem with some super glue. So in this case, this has been the most effective super glue that I've found for using Z-Man plastics, and that's Loctite super glue gel control. So basically we just put a tiny dab onto the shank of the hook and then pull that plastic back up into place on there. And that is ready to rumble and that'll stay locked on with that glue. Now, if we wanted to run a treble, put more hook points in that Z-Man plastic, because remember that Z-Man is naturally buoyant. So that Z-Man will float that hook. So it's a matter of choo just choosing a selection of hooks and having a variety of hooks to suit your different Z-Man plastics. You want a rig like that to fish on the surface. 
and just find one that it will float in terms of hook gauge and hook size so that will float that there now if we want to change that to a treble to increase the hook points all we do is use our j hook as a threader like that there pull it right through snip that off we're finished with that hook and we're going to tie a treble on there and now we can pull that line back through and use one of the hooks on the treble you'll find that there's normally one that sits nice and straight and allows it to sit flat against the plastic pin that treble in there and there we go we're ready to fish that plastic across the top and we've got a treble in there we've pinned one of the treble points into the plastic and the other two treble points are hanging free to hook the fish so that's rigging some top water z-mans non-weedless so we know tt we have chin locks and that sort of thing so that we can fish them weedless if we don't want that weedless presentation we can fish it with a straight j hook or a treble hook so the treble there we've got the hook to pin it into the plastic to hold it in place with our j hook we just use that tiny dab of super glue and fish on all right before we get into hack number five there's a couple of other tips i'll give you with your z-man plastics 10 times tough elastic material don't forget this is the best material for you for weedless rigging you know we're just grabbing the chin of that plastic often when weedless rigging so with this 10 times tough material we can rig weedless on any of those tt jig heads the chin locks snake locks snake eyes all those snake locks finesse and that durability allows us to weedless rig we lock that chin in there and it doesn't get blown out when you catch a fish or hooker or get up even get a bite sometimes so your standard plastics can be a one hit wonder whereas this plastic will keep giving and giving when you are weedless rigging so check out your weedless rigging options if you're keen to give that a go the other thing i'd say is with the scent don't forget z-man elastic plastic will absorb oil-based scents so that procure super gel is awesome full of natural fish oils and that sort of thing so you put that on that plastic 30 casts later you can still smell that scent absorbed into the plastic so i'll apply a little bit every about 30 or so casts or after i catch a fish and we've got that beautiful super soft and flexible that natural natural realism in the water it looks like real bait smells like real bait more chance of catching fish so our final hack you may have seen this one before and it's basically like putting a seat belt on our soft plastic so that it doesn't slide down the jig head so tt have made these this headlock design keeper you'll find it on the headlocks demons big eyes rev locks a bunch of different jig heads swim locks so it's designed your plastic goes up and it locks into that gap between the keeper and the head and they call it a headlock keeper basically that locks your soft plastic in place so you can work it aggressively hop it around shake it fish can bite it and a lot of the time it'll still stay in place swimming perfectly after a while guys catch a bunch of fish on the one plastic and it starts to get a little bit tired and can slide a little at times so what they do is one technique is to lift this plastic up over the eye so they'll basically just use another jig head you may have seen this before they'll just pinch a section of plastic at the front there so just a small piece pull it up over the eye allow it to drop over the eye and into place and then we just need to manipulate our other hook rolling it upside down generally works so that your barb doesn't catch there and we can get our other jig head out securely locked in place there you can see that piece of plastic pulled up over the eye and locking that in place so that that is dead set locked in there You're not going to come off that jig head so there you go that's five quick hacks for making the most of this amazing material you know if you just want to throw it on a standard jig head and get out there and fish or put it on a weedless jig head it's going to give you all that benefits of that 10 times tougher lastec that natural buoyancy that brings it to life in the water that super, super soft and flexible material for the action and it gives you that durability so that you can catch more fish so whether you utilize hacks or not it doesn't really matter you can rig it on your standard jig head rig it weedless get out there and whack a few fish all the best with the fishing. Cheers.